how you can trick the system and it's only possible in dev ideally it should be only possible in dev but if you if you have good relationship with the security guy you can get something in qa but never in production never ever you should do this in production okay that's a no no and if you are doing your in production you are not my friend okay i'm not teaching you okay so this is only possible do it in dev and qb okay so here's the thing i'm just giving an example okay. so, so i'm going to display a code okay and suppose i want to display this code and i if you see i don't have authorization i you have no display authorization so at this point what i do is what I have to do is I just go to technical information and I see this is the message number EU518. Now what I'm going to do is I'll just cancel this. Okay. And I'll close this. Now I'll put a debug. Okay. So now we click on display. And what I have to do is this is very important is we have to let me, okay i have enough session so that's good so here we have to put this is our breakpoint that's this is the bread and butter for a person who is an adapter and if you are a functional if you know it or we are is a very expert level uh expert level a functional expert okay so here what we have to do we have to put the debug point okay so here we go to message and here we will put eu and the number was 518 okay now we press continue okay and now we click on here 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 and we'll just the desktop view and we'll hit a country so what basically it did is it took me to the place where it's firing this message so before that whenever it fires there would be a place where you have this size of rc is being checked and if i double click on it you can see it's four and i will make it zero so but i cannot make it now because it's already gone so what we're going to do we're going to save record. so it's already saved now okay and now I'll just execute. So I'll get the same error. Or hmm, I'll just say debug. And close. Okay, now what we are going to do is still have run into debug. Okay, so it stopped. Okay, let me do one thing. I'll just so exit close application. That would be better. Uh, let's the spinning stops. Are you sure? Yes. Let's close it. Okay. Now we go to SE24. We are going to display and my debugger is stopping, which is what I want. I had already saved the debugger, so it will ideally stop in that place where they are checking the size of RC. So here it is. So here pretty easy click on it okay yeah now you go to click on this pencil button you put zero that means it's successful now before that if it if you click on the pencil button and it doesn't open and they will say you do not have display or change authorization then you know the security people is not your friend he didn't give you and it's the only possible in there and QA. so i made it zero here okay. and now i'll click this continue f8 okay did it came again here really so we'll just put zero and we'll press enter and we'll hit f8 Think it's coming for each method. There are a bunch of methods here. That's the problem. 
Okay, that's fine. A mini method hoops. That's right. So, so now we're going to execute. See, it's coming here again. Click zero. Press enter. Okay, there it is. We just tricked the system. So again, uh, I'm saying it over and over again. Only possible in dev, maximum QA. Never do, do it production. If you're doing it production, I'm not your teacher. I'm not your trainer. I'm not helping out. Uh, so, so always do it in dev and QA. And this is very important. This is the way you can, you know, trick the system, get, get the data you need for debug, for, for testing and other things. So this is very, very, very important. Uh, so always uh, use it wisely okay and uh, again you need to if you don't have it you know as i said the security team is not your friend okay so stay tuned to my channel and have a good